Well, hello again, folks, and welcome back to the cabin. It's a frosty day here today, but I'm keeping busy out on the front porch as I restore a 1910 waffle iron. I'm going to film the process for you all, and I'll show you how you can take a rusty old relic and turn it into a fine piece of cookware. The first step is to soak your rusty ironware in a solution of at least 60% white vinegar to 40% water. This iron soaked in straight vinegar for 24 hours and then I scrubbed away all the rust with a plastic brush. I avoid steel brushes to prevent the cooking surface from getting scratched. After thoroughly rinsing the iron, I dry it with a towel and apply a light coating of olive oil before I place it on a burner. You can see it's rusty. I have not started scraping this yet. See how that looks. This is just with a plastic brush. Look at that. Right down to the bare iron. See that? That's just with a plastic brush. Coming out real nice. I put a little bit of oil in a cup and I use a pastry brush for the waffle side. Here I'm just going to put a very light coating of oil, wipe off the excess. Okay, That's very important to wipe off that excess. If you leave gobs of oil on here, you're going to end up with a sticky pan. This side here Very light coating of oil. You can see that using the gas grill is the best way to do it because of the smoke. And I'm going to be flipping it over and over, constantly wiping away the excess. Want to make sure you're wearing gloves so you don't get burned. Today I'm restoring a waffle iron. But I use the same process, the extra burner of the gas grill for all of my ironware. Especially when I'm doing the initial coats on some bare iron like I am today. I'm not worried about the smoke. It can smoke all at once. And I can put coat after coat after coat as opposed to the slow method which is done in the oven. I'm going to keep repeating this process over and over and over. Don't try and rush it by putting on a heavy coat of oil. A heavy coat of oil will be your worst enemy, the worst thing you can do for this pan. So when I look inside here and I see any little puddles, I'm going to wipe them away with a Q-tip. Get rid of them. Because if that dries, I will always have uneven coats of seasoning in my pan not what I want to achieve here. A couple little puddles in there. Got them taken care of. This is going to be a nice iron. Anytime you see me restoring ironware, you will hear me repeat myself many times about wiping away the excess oil. I can't overemphasize that because that will be your key to success. Oh, this is coming out just beautiful. Just beautiful. Now I will repeat the process by applying multiple coats of oil to each side. As the oil becomes carbonized, it will offer a beautiful non-stick surface to the iron. Yep. Well, that turned out really nice, but I'm completely out of waffle mix here at the cabin. I'm going to be heading back to the homestead in a little while. I'll mix up a batch of waffle batter, put that on the gas burner, and see how she performs. I'm pretty certain she's going to do a good job. Okay, I have this on like a medium heat, as you can see there. I've got it on a four and a half. I'm going to let the iron get good and hot on one side. I'm going to flip it over, let it get good and hot on that side. 
And then I'm going to flip it back and pour the batter in. Okay, let's give it a go. For a maiden voyage. I cook the waffles, oh, maybe a minute, minute and a half or so on each side. I can't give you a specific time because I don't know what you're going to set your temperature at. But here, working on about a medium heat, generally 60 to 90 seconds on each side is just about perfect. right out of there. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That iron came out of the vinegar bath this morning. I gave it one coat here on the gas, then hauled it over to the cabin where I have the gas grill and finished the process. So it went from trash to treasure in one day. Beautiful waffle right here. Didn't stick at all. I'd say it was a success. Well, if you like what you learned here today, please remember to click the thumb up button and share my channel with others. I've got a lot more iron restoration projects coming up soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did and you'd like to see more of the cabin life, please click the subscribe button so that you can follow along with future updates. All the best to you and God bless.